I mostly grew up here in Greenville. I went to high school here in Greenville. And I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with my life, so I didn't really want to go to college and not really know what direction I was going and just waste time and money. My parents were like, you got to do something, either go to school or you got to start working. I heard about Whirlpool and I went there. Whirlpool has given me the opportunity to, one, go back to school and pay for my tuition. Uh, I, I don't know that I could have ever gone back to school without it. And from that, it's been able to advance my career. I started in classic assembly as a motor builder. I became a repair person, and then I became a group leader. A few years down the road, I became a lead group lead. And then recently, here in February, I started my supervisor position. I worked closely with my supervisor of what I could do personally uh, to achieve that goal. And they worked with me on like skill set and different leadership traits that I could work on to get to that spot. I never know what I'm walking into in the morning. Every day, yeah, I might have a set schedule, I might have a meeting to go to at a certain time every day, but my job is really people focused. Every day it has something a little bit different that I can learn and grow from personally. When I walk through those doors, I'm Maggie Handmaker, the supervisor of Classic Assembly. The first thing I do every morning is I place manpower. The assembly lines need to start, and manpower is a crucial role to make sure if we have somebody that's absent that we have that role filled. And then after that, I go to my morning meeting, which is our business unit meeting, and that's really to address any safety issues that happen, any quality issues that might have came up, delivery issues that we had the prior day, and any issues that we should be concerned about. And then after that, I do my daily walks. So I'll go in and check in with all of my assembly lines. I have eight assembly lines. And I check with the group leaders and see what I can do to help them to make the day successful. For people to follow you, you have to have that personal connection with them. I wanna know about their lives. I don't want to be just their boss. I want to be that leader who cares about them personally, who wants to help them and inspire them to grow and become better for the business. I had a training update meeting where we just go and talk about all of our new trainees on their line, how they're doing. New employees, I mean, if you walk into any manufacturing plant, it's intimidating. It's sort of that one-on-one, -on -one, like, I'm Maggie, I'm the supervisor, I'm here to help you. And if you have issues, let me know. Let's go ahead and introduce you to your team. If you just come to the shop floors, there's opportunities within less than a year to progress. And Whirlpool's there to help get you there. We had a safety incident last week and we really needed to have a group team effort because it's a plant-wide issue and bring all those team members together on a daily basis to figure out how we can correct those actions immediately. Once a week I have my group leader meeting. I get all my group leaders into a room. Sometimes it's a little more structure and sometimes we just come together, talk about issues that they've experienced and how we can help. When I walk out, you know, I get in my car, I drive home. After that, I'm like, well, what do I want to do? What's important to me? My family is huge in my life. Like, uh, I spend a lot of time with my friends. I spend a lot of time on my hobbies. My next step, I think, would be, I want to get really good where I'm at. So I'm going to continue to go to school, continue my education so that when I feel like I'm fully confident and ready to maybe go to a business unit manager position, I would be ready to just step into that role. Absolutely, the opportunity is there for people to advance and Whirlpool's there to help get you there.